this is a little tour of the house, the new house that we got. Lots of cactus and Palo Verde trees, huge tree in the front. And there's two separate, it's a separate garage. Um, see that cool roof line, it's real mod. Cantilever kind of overhangs. The artwork is uh, my friend that used to own this house. He handicapped a uh, person, friend of mine, and he did all this artwork. So a separate garage. And then you can see cars blocking the entrance. But this gives you an idea where we're at. And okay, real quick. So the, this is the space between the garage and the house. It's got the sideways entrance. It's pretty cool. So this is the walkway and there's, it's all gated. And we have these big um, Mexican uh, birds of paradise that grow in the summer here. They're beautiful. And that's our sunrise other side of the house. I finally got a closer on this front door and it closes itself. Yay. See? Almost. There's the dining area. Really funky layout. The living room. Put new ceiling fans in here. And some more artwork. This is looking back at the entrance. <sighs> kitchen. Like a cabin. It's like a cabin kitchen. It's old IKEA installs up here. I love this kitchen. And a bit of shelf light here. Put a little dimmer on it. Just kind of keep it easy. And then, so this is a corner, our office in the corner. Not a lot exciting here. And the bedrooms are in the back. They go down this hall and there's two off to the left and one on the right. So we'll walk around here. I'll walk outside, you gotta see the sunrise. The grapevines, they delivered 25 pounds of grapes this year. I couldn't believe it. They were pretty tart at times, but some of them were sweet. So that's the kitchen I just walked out of. And another view of the front corner. And we'll walk back. Pool equipment down here. Sun's rising. There's the acacia trees I told you about. And then back here is the back side of the house and Madagascar palms and all that cactus. And this is the view back towards the front. It's real private. I hope I did this right. These are the acacias. I'm in love with them, obviously. I've only mentioned a dozen times. And we moved this tree over into the corner. Barrel cactus. The really cool thing I was trying to describe to you is this house has always had this decking and this pool. But last year we brought a guy in. We had uh, about 120 leftover two foot pavers, two foot square pavers, or however big they are, they're 20 inches maybe. And we had him come in here and mount this whole extra deck on the back. It completely changed the it just changed the feel of the place and so this is what it looks like you can see how well they did they did such a great job and we're on open space back here for god knows how long put new ficuses in here and so they're going to grow and make some privacy i made a uh fire pit that uses propane the propane tanks i had this guy weld weld my holder so the tank is in there anyway it's a super cool house and it is for rent 
<laughs> and tell your friends we <laughs> we need renters uh like pronto our rental market is saturated here and anyway this is the back side of the pool area and peering through the cactus gives you an idea the neighbor's house and walking around the right hand side and I can come back in through the living room. It's just so cool because the whole house is uh, all sliders. Everything's sliding glass doors. And the corners are all done. All the windows and doors are done in aluminum. There's the fireplace. Lennox fireplace. This is a 17-year-old house now. I'll give you an idea. All right, that's it. Have a good day.